are pretty much idling, idling up to these uh, boulders, reeling in my troll. All right, guys. So welcome back. I'm in the middle sound on this day. Uh, I went in the afternoon and it was just too choppy in the morning, too windy. So I waited for the afternoon, found a window, and went out looking for a deeper ledge that I'd been studying to try to find some fluke. But unfortunately, I really didn't get out to that spot because, you know, it's just a little too choppy. And especially in the Hobie Passport, it just doesn't cut the chop as much. So we started out at the boulders and then went to a shallower ledge right after that. Net ready. The worm that has worked wonders. Let's try and get on this, uh, this little boulder. All right, let's see how deep we are. I don't even know. My fish finder is not working. Unfortunately, three eighths ounce dig head, and we're pretty deep. Current should be switched. I think I felt a bite. I should be over a nice rock right now. So let me really focus on the jigging. I'm just doing like a double jig. Feel bottom, double jig off. Feel bottom, double jig off. You know, my guess is the closest thing this would resemble is maybe a sand deal. Oh, dude. Could have been the rock. That's not a rock. I don't know what this is. I really don't know what this is. Maybe sea bass. Could be a fluke, but I think it's a sea bass. I didn't see it. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's just a huge sea bass. Oh man. Oh. Oh. What? Wow. Look at that thing. Look at that beauty. <laughs> Took it. Took the worm. Let's give him a measure. This is a beautiful fish. Yeah, 22. Almost 22. 21 and a half. 21 and a half. Sheesh. Mondo sea bass. Taking the, the jig worm without scent. Beautiful hump head. Look at that thing. Osprey. Pretty close. At 
least he's going slow. Same thing. I'm just gonna do this same thing. Dude, I don't know why that boat came up to me so close like that though, because he's like all the way out there now. I think he was definitely curious what I was doing out here. These, these boulders are definitely not marked, so it's just kind of kind of weird. That he like came up next to me and then just kind of went that way. I'm gonna have to see what it looks like on that camera. All right, let's focus. I'm trying to get another fish. Hopefully fluke. If not, I'm gonna move over to the ledge soon. Cause the wind's definitely calmed down. I mean, I think the ledge will be a little bit flukier. This is definitely like mostly sea bass with you know, an occasional fluke, I think. Sea bass own the boulders, they really do. They are like the groupers. Porgy. Oh yeah. That's, it's worth a filet, Porgy. All right, at least we got a snack. Let's try to upgrade it to a dinner. Jigworm's kind of getting a little messed up. It's kind of still works. I think it's just cool to see that you don't have to have the scent on it. Oh! Not sure yet. Probably a sea bass. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do one more drift here and then I'm gonna go to the ledge cause I'm pretty sure this is just mostly sea bass and porgy inundation. I just really wanna be at the ledge for when the current is at its best. Cut the worm a little bit. All right, we'll go, we'll go to a different ledgy spot. No fluke here. All right, I guess we'll try the worm thing. What do we got going on? We got decent drift. It's a little fast, so I'm trying to slow it down a tiny bit. Only using 3 8 ounce in probably 30 feet of water. My guess is we caught those sea bass in like 40 feet. Just crazy how shallow those big sea bass come. I never see that in the western sound. Man, just essentially working a, a ledge contour line with the current. It's not the one I had in mind, but the one I had in mind, I think it's just a little, a little too far for these conditions and I can't really stay out too long. The sea bass are having no problem seeing this thing, so I know this thing works. I just gotta work the area. And it would just be so much better if I had a fish finder so I could mark some bait. Cause I know out here, 
Sometimes the fluke are keyed in on sand deals. I search the ledge first, find the bait, if there is any, and at least, you know, you can narrow your search a little. Ooh, something just, something just had it. Almost positive. Heavier weight will allow me to work a faster drift, so. I think after this, oh. Oh, don't tell me I've been working. No wonder. Ugh. I've been working that half of a jig probably the whole time. And that one good bite. Decisions, decisions. I think I need to, I think I need to go with gulp because I just don't have any scent on me. Start with the, I think it's probably a five inch. I don't want to go to six inch just yet because I don't want to take away the chances of getting porkies. Probably like a three quarter. Three, probably a three quarter, maybe a one ounce. I just want to go a little deeper, work a little deeper, and work a little faster through here. Oh man, something's on it. Something. They bite the tail. I think they bit the tail. Whoa, no way. Felt nice at first, but this is definitely foul hooked. Looks like we got porgy biters down there. Oh, it's a small porgy. The otter tail mixture. It does seem like there's more porgies down deeper on the ledge. That's also really why I like that worm thing out here is porgies are not ripping it up. I might put that worm thing back on this heavier jig head too. Could do that. I'm just gonna throw big gulps going big or going home. Big gulp. Here we go. Six inch. Oh, tap. Probably a porgy. I hope it didn't bite off my tail. Ugh, another tap. Feels like porgies. Make sure we're still working with the same amount of gulp here. Nope. So we definitely know there's a ton of porgies. So let's try the worm thing. We'll real be, really be able to tell that this thing avoids porgies with, with this drift right here. This is, this is going to be the drift if I continue to use this thing or not, because there's obviously a ton of porgies down there. Definitely working quick through here. It's nice. <clears throat> I'm not getting hit by the porgies. I'm really not. It's so funny. The porgies don't want this thing. I think that's just the one downside to gulp is, uh, Interference fish just love it. I'm gonna give it like 10 more minutes, maybe one more drift. And then I'll probably go back to another boulder patch. You know, just because at least I can get sea bass bycatch, it's fun. 
and I have caught fluke like in in boulder patches out here so it's just a little easier to fish without a fish finder these ledges you know ledges are just tough ledges are tough without a fish finder it's just a big area oh did we have a bite we may have had a bite Yeah, I think I'm just gonna pop around the boulders. Let's go see what's let's see what's going on with the boulders. Like 20 minutes left to fish, so let's do this quick. Yeah, there was somebody on there. That's a porgy. Foul look porgy. Yeah, we just want jumbos. I don't really feel like filleting too much. Let me try that boulder one more time. That's fast drift, fast drift. It should be directly on top of it. So as soon as it hits the bottom, we gotta be ready. That's a sea bass. He keeps coming back. Oh. I may have drifted too far off the rock. Seventeen inch sea bass, my guess. Ooh, big porgy. Oh, big porgy. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Freaking dino porgy. Dude, that's a big porgy. I'll measure him back at the I just don't want to waste too much time. Goodness. That is a beast of a porgy. This thing is working so good. I love it. Freaking love it. No scent or anything. It's just it's calling out all the all the fish you don't want i don't really think that porgy was the first one who hit it though oh my gosh <laughs> freaking monster hits down here off it gotta restart It's, it's all about pinpoint fishing out here. You just have to, oh man, they're ripping it up pretty good. <laughs> There's not much left of it, but I'll keep going until it's gone because I only have one more. Zoom in too quick. Let's go to the next one. We got one jumbo. Got one jumbo off that. Got another, another nice looking boulder right here. Oh. Let's 
give it one more go. Replace this one. My last jig worm. top of it this if I don't get one here I'm moving to the last one yeah, just, nobody's home on this one oh could just be the rock I keep hitting oh Somebody's home. Yeah, it's a sea bass. time for uh, this one looks pretty promising though I must say oh, that's maybe a hit oh that was a hit oh. dang Missed, missed that hit, that second hit, because I was already. Ah, oh, I took it. Dang. No, I didn't take it. All right, we gotta do that drift again. Something very nice came out of his home. I came right over top of it. Should be about right here. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, what power that thing had. Holy mackerel. Oh my, what is this? I think it's a really big sea bass. Oh my, oh, I don't know. It's a pretty serious run for a sea bass. Oh, dude. Almost feels like a blackfish. Wow. Whoa. Oh. Oh, oh my. What? What is happening? <laughs> wow. What an absolute fight this guy gave me too. Almost another 22, about 21 and a half. 
<laughs> wow, I just can't, I just can't get over it. I got him, the worm got him. Man, I love it. Now these guys taste. Oh, there you go. See ya. See ya June 23rd. All right, so that'll do it. You know, I only really fished for an hour and a half. <clears throat> I just checked the, the record time on my camera. That was an hour and a half of fishing. So for that hour and a half that I fished, just absolutely unbelievable. Like, wasn't lock and load fishing, but you know, once I got to those certain spots, the sea bass and porgies and just, there's big fish out here. If you find good structure, it is loaded because I don't really think many people fish these areas, number one. And number two, there's not a lot of structure. So those big fish just kind of keep all the small ones, I think, off the structure. They're very territorial about it. Of course, I would have liked to have had a fluke, but kind of not surprised that they're just kind of hard to find. At least, you know, the spots that I could, could try for the amount of time I had. There's definitely one more place I need to like really put some effort in for fluke out here but I need a much larger window to get there. And that jig worm, I love it. It's my new favorite lure right now. The, the black and red jig worm. It's absolutely crushing it. All good size fish on it. And it's not catching any of like the, the small interference fish. I put on gulp, we got tore up immediately by the porgies. So definitely out here, you know, the interference fish are just a little more prevalent. Gulp is just not as effective, I don't think. Um, you're just gonna, you're gonna catch like everything with gulp, which could be good, but if you're really like hunting, you know, big trophy sized fish, uh, gulp is really not, not what you wanna use out here. Hopefully I can get back out here at some point in the summer and I'll get my dad out here. The water's just a little too choppy, a little too cold. So pretty soon, pretty soon. All right, see you next time everyone. Thanks for watching.